Yeah, go on, jump in. Uh, we're a bit late, let's jump in the back. Right, well here we are, another day, another trip to the gym, and this time we're back with Annabelle because it's a family fitness session, isn't it, Annabelle? Yeah, the space. Yay, I spotted the space. <laughs> Annabelle, you look worn out. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Which which exercise is your favourite? Let me see. I think it was the a press. One. Uh, oh, the bear crawls with the yeah. elastic band. Right, we've got to get into town now because Mummy and Thomas are going to meet us for a cup of coffee and a cake. Cake. I really like that gym because. It's more like going to a social club than a gym. It's uh, it's set up perfectly for family. So you've got everything from uh, your power lifters in the corner, um, everything from that down, right down to this family training session, which Annabelle loves going to. And uh, even yeah, a family- I every week. You do. Even a family training session, you, know, you work at your level. So, you know, it wears me out, but it also wears Annabelle out. So it's, um, it's, it's really good, really good compromise. You know what? I just pretend that I'm worn out. It doesn't actually wear me out. Oh, does it? Well, then you better start working harder. Just kidding. Thomas, yeah. what are you having for your lunch? Um, sushi. Sushi. <laughs> sushi. Sushi and a bag of. Fresh cream. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, ready? Nice. So sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Sensible. What's in your sandwich? Um, yeah. <laughs> you two could oh, be I any different. I call it sensible sandwiches. She has got sensible sandwiches. We, have, have we got sensible sandwiches? No. No. Yeah. yeah. Look, you he think? chose the one with all the smoked salmon as well. I get the half empty one. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, come. The salmon came up. Oh, oh look at that. All change, uh, the girls have gone home in the other car, so we've got this car, haven't we, Thomas? Yeah. We pulled a fast one, didn't we? So we're heading home, uh, we'll get sorted there, uh, and I wanna talk a little bit about Norway and what's going on there. Uh, are they, aren't they? What are they doing about taxes? What's this you keep hearing about a Tesla tax? A um, bit more about that in a bit. 30,000 miles. Off out again, uh, some bits and pieces for dinner this time. I, I can't believe I've hit 30,000 miles. That I've pretty much done, well, I've had this for two years and, two years and four months. Uh, that's all it's taken me, which, okay, I appreciate some people do an awful lot more mileage than me, but um, for a car that we bought to replace a little runaround, that did about 6,000 miles a year. Uh, this has become our main car and it, we had no intention of that happening, but um, here we are. Next video, I'll do a bit more about it because um, I, I want to work out some figures and just basically see what it's cost me. And um, uh, I think it would just be interesting, but that's for next time. Back to today and um, Norway. <sighs> Got to ask what's going on there because Norway have always been seen as like the, the leading light as far as uh, promoting and encouraging and trying to get people to buy EVs. And yet they look like they're gonna put this great big tax on it. Now, hopefully it's not gonna be as bad as it's being reported. It's being reported as, as a Tesla tax. The reason it's being reported as that is because really it only affects the big Teslas. Um, now this tax is worked out on weight so it's got nothing to do with anything kind of environmental or you know emissions or what it takes to build these vehicles nothing to do with that it's purely the weight of the vehicles and the argument is the heavier the vehicle the more it basically wears the road uh, and uh, the more money they'll need to spend on their infrastructure because you're by you're you're driving a bigger heavier vehicle uh, kind of makes sense there's no problem with that 
And I think we all accept that at some point, if you drive an EV, we are gonna to start to get taxed. It's inevitable, you have to, the money has to come from somewhere to put back into the infrastructure. So that's fine, we get it. The trouble here is the amount of money that they're gonna tax uh, Tesla owners, because like I say, predominantly that's who it is, is actually, it's quite big. Now, it's very specific. So if you look at the Model S, there's going to be a bit of a levy on them. It might be, uh, the figures I've seen are in dollars, so it might be a couple of thousand dollars on uh, a reasonable size um, Model S. So it's not too bad. The percentage of its overall price actually isn't all that bad. But you, if you then compare that to the Model X, then there's a massive difference. If you so if you were looking at the P100D, which is the, the big, weighty, dual motor one, you're probably looking at 10% of its, its um, value, its cost, to put it on the road, on top of that, in additional tax. So yeah, we're talking about ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000. That's a massive amount of money when you're trying to encourage people. Remember, this is a country that you can get free parking, free charging, uh, I think free use of toll roads I think basically if you have to pay for it on the road if you drive an EV you pretty much you don't pay for it so they're really really forward thinking which is why this is really a kind of a bizarre concept um, but there is hope there's kind of light at the end of the tunnel hopefully um, at the moment this is just a proposal it's something that they've drafted up uh, they've put before the Parliament and it's to be voted on basically and they've got to make a decision and the, the government that are there at the moment uh, the minority government and hopefully uh, sense will prevail because uh, as I say we we need to tax these cars at some point but uh, this just seems to be uh, disproportionate to what they're trying to achieve uh, and you look um just look at Hong Kong and look what's happened there. Yeah, you know, they've brought in these taxes and all of a sudden uh, Tesla sales just stopped overnight. I personally, I don't think this will ever get voted in. I just think it goes so far against everything that they're trying to achieve. Uh, it's a minority government that are trying to argue it. I personally think that this will get voted out and then bit by bit they will start to bring in taxes that are sensible taxes that tax everybody for the use of their car it's the same thing's going to have to happen here it just it needs to have a, a more sensible approach to um to phasing it in really because you know we're still not at a point yet where people are just buying evs it's still unusual in reality to see them so there we go i'm home now that pretty much wraps today up it's been a it has been a busy old day uh, but uh, not overly exciting for you guys tomorrow i think we're planning if the weather's right to get the kayak out again so hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more interesting uh, and i'm going to do some workings out i'm going to see what this car has cost me uh, over the 30,000 miles I've owned it so I'm um, hopefully tomorrow I can give you a bit of a breakdown some figures for that but done um, for now if you've enjoyed today's vlog remember to like and share it and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel uh, and you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at EV Opinion and um, I'll see you again soon take care